All right, what's up, savages? Thanks for following along with this uh, this video series here, how to make the Mandalorian helmet. Now I'm gonna make uh, this earpiece this earpiece here, whatever that is. Got my, my Beats headphones. I don't know. All right, so first thing what I want to do is look at it, and see what overall shape that is, and that right there looks like half a cylinder. So I'm gonna bring in a cylinder and then start making this from a cylinder. This bottom part right here, I can make this with a cube. Same thing with this buckle, whatever that is. So uh, here we go. <clears throat> All right, three for right view. And I'm gonna bring in a cylinder. Also, I've noticed here the front of the face looks a little bit weird. I'll fix that up in the um, the final touches. Shift A, mesh cylinder, cylinder baby, here we go. I'm gonna rotate this out along the Y axis, RY 90 degrees, enter. Three for right view, Shift Z for wireframe. Oh, Shift Z for wireframe, there we go. As for scale, scale it down. So about the size of uh, that right there. This all being done in object mode. Oops, that's for scale. Decimal keys in the center. There we go, G for grab. My ball in it there. Now I'm gonna scale it down along the Y there. S, Y, try to get that shape, shape there for the arch. There we go, cool. All right, now I'm gonna take it to edit mode, tab key, and vertex selection. And I'm gonna select these bottom ones right here, and I'm gonna delete them, X key. Delete vertices, there we go. And I'm just gonna trace here for the right side. Later I'll use the uh, mirror modifier so I can make the uh, uh, the other side here, the left side, and then a mirror modifier, mirror modifier for the one on the uh, other ear over there. All right, so that's following the arch there. And I'm gonna bring this in as well to uh, follow the arch. Drag select there, GY, we're going in, bam. GY, we're going in, bam. GY, we're going in right there. And G for grabs, freehand that one there. And then we're going to extrude down this way for this section there. There we go. And then we're going to extrude out some more this way. And I want to be flush with the stop vertex there. It's going to be the center point. Obviously, that's not in the center there. So I'm going to move this one out, try to line it up with the center of that there. So I'm actually going to see for circle select, select this whole section there. Make that my top point there. I want to be around there. So I'm going to GY and about right there. So I'm just got to adjust this one a little bit more. Keep the roundness going. G for grab. And there we go. That's kind of flattish. That's cool. All right. So let me hit the N key for Nancy. Get the sidebar menu. And I can get the Y for this one, which is minus. Let's just make the zero. Zero. See where it goes. Uh, nope, don't like that undo. Want it more towards the center here. So I'm going to copy this, Control-C, copy. Let me click here, drag select this one here. And I'm going to paste it right Control v paste. And there we go, pulled it back up. So now I'm going to select uh, these over here, select these right here. And I'm going to delete them. Let me keep for Nancy, X key, delete vertices. I'm going to drag select this section there. Shift-S, I'm going to bring the cursor to select it. I'll put it right in the center. And then I'm going to put the origin over there. So tab key. And then right click here, my cylinder. Now where's my cylinder inside the whole ear? So let me bring it up. G, X, bring it out over there. And then S, X, scale it down along the X. I wanna make it kind of big. That way it gives me a lot of room so I can tuck it in and out of the head here. All right, so now I'm gonna right click it. Send for top view, which this way I make sure I right click it. Set origin to, no, uh, nope. Now I have to redo the 3D cursor. That is my fault. All right, tab key, shift S, cursor to select in. There it is, now it's in the center there. Tab key, right click origin to 3D cursor. Cool, and I will put the 3D cursor there so I can mirror exactly off the center there. Add modifier, mirror modifier, here we go, mirror. And I don't want to mirror it there, so let's try the Y. There it is, the so Y, turn off the X. And it's activate clipping. Oops, clipping, there we go. Cool, so now I got a mirror on every side tab key. Here we go. So I'm gonna select this whole loop here on the outside. Got the one in the back, F for fill. Fill in the face back there. And fill in the face over here in the front, F for fill. There we go. And three for right view, cool. Got this edge here in the middle. I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't need an edge there. So edge select. Click on that edge, X key dissolve edges. And then select the one on the back as well over there. X key, dissolve edges. And is it getting rid of it? Nope. X key, dissolve edges. X key, delete edges. 
and let's make sure it's still solid it's not solid loop select and fulfill you know I'll just leave it there for now and then we'll get rid of it later all right so I want to draw the geometry for this arch here and for the part on the outside too but it has to um, I'm gonna use a knife tool and every cut has to line up with another cut on the other side so I have to count these uh, these cuts that I'm gonna do right now so let me hit K for knife I go right here click and go straight up click there one time and try to draw this arch right here I'm just gonna extrude this out later and click right there enter vertex selection let me pull this out adjust it there and get the overall shape it's not to be perfect we're gonna use a smooth uh, uh, subdivision surface modifier to smooth it out later so that's one two three four five and so I gotta draw the same thing over here so it's accurate as well so I'm gonna click on this one here <clears throat> and go up here so this edge right here that I'm drawing it's gonna support this vertex it's gonna go right there for this part here of the helmet that goes inward so I'm gonna click there then I'm gonna go to cross right there and then I'm gonna try to get this one over here except um, I exited it out so I can't see it I zoomed out enter and I'll keep for knife and click there I already clicked on something else okay let me snap to a click click enter I have to get rid of this edge here that I was accidentally created X key dissolve edges dissolve edges there we go let me make sure this is in the front undo that's not what I wanted I got rid of that whole vertex there dissolve edges undo I'll fix it up later when I draw the rest of it shift Z all right so it is on this face cool I don't need this one right here right now so I'm gonna hide it I think it's this one nope there it is before right view shift Z all right K for knife use existing geometry there I'm gonna go up about right there and then I'm gonna connect to this vertex that's there there we go so now I can get rid of this this edge that's right here S key dissolve edges cool and I keep that vertex there so notice here um, this is being supported by that one it's just not floating there so what I should also do is draw another um, <clears throat> vertex here to connect that but maybe I don't need it so we'll see what happens later when um, I use subdivision surface modifier all right so I'm gonna try to arch this with the um, counting up the number of edges that I have there the vertices so I'm gonna hit E to extrude so one that's corresponding to that one right there oops not E to extrude X key delete vertices K for knife I I'm gonna cut this click and then right there one two three four five and then six right there enter and then I can join these here click there click there J for join and then I can keep my geometry there I'm going to get the one in the back sorry I got the one in the back I want the one on the front so let me I'll select these here first the ones on the outside make sure I get the one on the front J for join and notice I'm in right view the whole time I'm doing this all right, so now I got to try to do this on this side, <clears throat> and I forgot to count these. See if they uh, add up there. J for join. All right, cool. Undo. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. I can add another one in here. So I'll do that. Subdivide. Cool. I'll move this one out here, and move this one out some more. There we go. So I can have an equal number of uh, edges there. All right, K okay, for knife. Start with this one, and then go about there. One, two, mm, three, four, and then finish it off right there. Enter. Cool. So I'm gonna join these here with the J. There we go. Join these there with the J. Join those there with the J. One was there with the J right there. And I can bring this one out some more there. G for grab. Just kind of flare them out. There we go. And then I can join these here as well. Just making the geometry here make sense. So I can have quads. You want to have a square faces. 
this will help out later with the smoothing. If it was just low poly, this, this wouldn't matter. But if you want to make it look nice and round and neat, then you're going to want to do this. And it looks like right here it kind of bevels in. So I can try um, extruding this in and out. <clears throat> but um, I'll deal with it later when I subdivide it. All right, so I got a quad here, four corners, four sides, one, two, three, four. This one's four sides as well. Looks a little bit weird. So hopefully it doesn't give me problems later. All right, Shift Z for solid. So I can select these faces here, and I'm going to extrude them inward. Shift Z. All right. E to extrude, we're going in. All right. Now I'm just going to scale them inward for a, ne for a neater look. E for scale. S for scale. S Z. G for grab. Try to middle, put in the middle somewhat. All right, two for right view. I'm not liking that edge, how high that went up, so I'm just going to pull that edge down there. GZ. And then select this whole edge here. And alternate shift, click there. Two for right view, SX, bring it inward. Sorry, SY. That's another one going inward. G5. That's all edge there. There we go. And then bring this one up here. This is not necessary for the final product. It just makes it look a little neater. At least I think so. Gives it a little more depth. You can see the depth there a little better. All right. <clears throat> Let me see the uh, other image that I have over here. Where's my side one? I think it's this one. Oh, yeah, it is that one. All right. So, let's see. So that part, actually, the part doesn't even go in. Whatever, I'll leave it like that. So this part bevels out, extrudes out this middle part. So I'm going to extrude that out here. And this part right here, select that whole face. And how much do I want to pull that out by? Pull or extrude, extrude, and extrude out. There it is. And then maybe we'll scale it inward as well. Give it another dimension, level dimension of depth. I can also just bevel the edges. I can try it as well. So let's try beveling the edge this time. Control B. Enter, enter. I can do the same thing for uh, this outer part here, since it did look to be uh, somewhat beveled. Look kind of round on the sides. Yeah, it's kind of round there. So let me see this one here. It's like the whole thing's actually scaled inward. So I think I'll do that. I'm just going to scale it, make it a little smaller there, and give me that beveled look. All right. So I'm going to select this whole outer edge. Control, alternate, alternate, uh, shift. And get this whole edge there. There we go. I'm going to need that. And I should have done that before that section there, so I'll fix it later. As for scale, and it seems to be kind of scaling in like a spider so, some sort. So I'm going to scale inward and then shift X. S shift X, so it doesn't scale along the X, so it looks kind of weird. Be for right view. And let's try S Y. And it's kind of flaring this out there. So let me uh, deselect that one and that one. Three for right view. S Y. It's because of the mirror modifier. So what I should do just grab it, G Y, and pull it in this way. There we go. Take that mirror modifier. There we go. And it's kind of distorted now. I'm going to regret it later. So let me just undo that whole thing in there. There we go. Now we'll do G Y. Pull it inward. And then these over here, just pull them downward. GZ. So it's not as distorted there. Oh, still got super distorted. Undo. Yes. Shift X. Oh, it's going in better now. There we go. Because that rim, that piece on the outside. 
That seems to be kind of flat. Shift Z. That seems to be kind of thin there. That's cool. That's cool. All right. That's good. And that's off. But that's also because I scaled in the inside there. So I'll see how it goes later. I can try fixing it right now. Shift V. I made it look a little better. Shift V. Should be thinner or wider. All right, and now I gotta fix this section here that I should have beveled earlier, but I should have not beveled so soon. So drag select that there, drag select that there. One, there you go. G, Z, we're going up. Three, all right. S, actually G, Y. Shift Z. Let's see, it kind of sits above it. Oh, it seems to go like underneath it. And yeah, it goes a little, I don't know, that looks good. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Looking like fire, cool. All right, so now to make the uh, the buckle part. And so you can see here it is a little bit off, but we'll fix that later. Don't even trip, fam. See tab key, G, and we can move it around wherever we want. <clears throat> All right, tab key, and I'm gonna make this uh, this part right here. Uh, from the pictures here, it kind of seems like this part goes inside, but actually sticks out. And then I could tell because of this part here, this part section sticks out earlier when I modeled this, it was inward. I didn't have a reference picture from this angle, which I should have had. And this kind of looked like a buckle from those other views. So right here doesn't look as buckly. And you can see we have some slots here, so I can make holes for that as well. Uh, let's do those first, those holes, then I'll make that bottom part. All right, one front view, back over here to my model, tab key, shift Z, and face selection. So that hole should go about like right here, that face. So let me check it out again. It's kind of high up. So it's mirrored, so I'm gonna actually end up doing it in the back, but it'll mirror over here for the front as well. All right, and this part seems to be flat right there. And I think that is around the part where I start going flat. Yeah, see so it starts going flat there. All right, and let's see. I think some of it's six cells, so I think I'm going to extrude and scale. Yeah, I got a little bit of piece hanging out right there. So extrude and scale. That's Z. Another Z. Nope. X. X. Y. Y. Let me try a different angle. S, Y, Y. X, X, Z, Z. I'm going to go in along this direction here. S, Y. So we'll just try that. S, X, X. All right. And then we're going to go in. So should I do an extrusion or just pull it in? See if I just pull it in, it's going to look like, like that. It's not bad. I uh, don't want to look beveled there or not. Undo. And we'll just extrude it in. And then scale it in. There we go. Maybe make it a little wider there. Press hex. Not too high. So I don't want to go inside this part right here. But it's something like that, right? So I got that little slot there. And then, oh, look, seems to be wider towards the inside. So I can try doing that too. I can select the. Uh, the edges over here on this side and then try making it wider or that whole face that's on the inside over here right there and then let's see s y y x x z z oh, let me just see s y s x x <clears throat> See if it's getting wider there. Eh, not so much, but whatever. Leave it like that. All right. And then there's another slot at the bottom. Seems to be like the whole section in there is kind of cut. So I can create a loop cut and then I can uh, clean up that whole section there. 
let's see here, and control R, and go around there. And looks cool. And I can select these faces there. And then extrude inward there. As for scale. Let me scale it out some more. Ooh, looks a little neater. So there seems to be something there. That's all right. I'm, just, I'm not sucking the whole thing in here anyways, right? So let's see what that'll look like. That looks like the whole thing. Or a GX. So maybe it's going to stick out a bit, something like that. There we go. All right. Now for the, the buckle, I'll link to the buckle. Shift Z. Tab key 3. And I'm going to bring in a cube as well. I'm going to cut it. Shift A, cube, super huge cube. GZ, bring it down over here. And cut it down the middle as well. Or enter. Delete the vertices on the left side for the mirror. Vertices, and there's the mirrored section. L key on the cube. GZ, bring it up. Try to make that buckle shape and see what it looks like from this view. All right, so it just seems like there's uh, some cuts down there, so it's like a, an easy bevel. All right, so I'm going to select this corner there. Control-B, pull that out, and just a plain bevel there. There we go, like that. There we go. And what did I just click? I'll open up that menu by accident. All right, G-Y, pull that out. Bam, all right. And then GZ, pull that down. You sit the L key there, bring it up, GZ. See if I got the size right. It looks like I gotta go up a bit. GZ. Looks about right. Let's see how far it goes in there. It almost seems like it's gonna go in there. Kinda looks like there's an opening in there. But I don't see it on this side here. So maybe I gotta bring up this section here in the middle. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. GZ, bring it down. And just grab that part there, GZ. And just pull it up a bit. There we go. And then I have to try to make this part here. And then this outside part here looks kind of, looks like it bevels in a bit. So I can select this outer wall here. And then scale it inward. And there we go. And then just bring it up because the, the top part doesn't seem to go in. Or does it? No, we're cool right there. All right. See what it looks like in solid. All right. Looking cool. Probably afford to scale it some more. Make it more noticeable. There we go. Not too much. I don't want to make it too crazy. All right. It's going to get tucked away in there too. All right. And now I gotta try to make the geometry for this cut down there. So then I can use the knife tool, or is that just the drawing? I mean, is that just something painted on there? Nope, it's actually something there. So this is a. Uh, so I'm gonna draw it and then I'll extrude it. All right, so K okay for knife. You call that a knife? Actually, I'm just gonna use a loop cut tool. And it's not looping through there. See if I can loop one across. Nope, so knife tool it is. And right there. And so I have to go all the way down. So I need to loop the whole thing or most of it. So I'm trying to use a knife, the loop cut tool. And we're there. Oop, forgot to click the last part. And then knife. Okay, for knife. <clears throat> you call that a knife? I don't know why I like saying that. There we go. I'm going to select this face, extrude it inward. And I still got to try to create the geometry for this top part here. And that starts right there. Let's see if I can get it. Nope. I don't think I got it. That's something else. Yeah, I cut the top part up there. And then, oh, I can subdivide these right here. 
right click subdivide and then join those there there we go and then I can do the same thing over here join those there there we go all right three for right view and then I can adjust this one here shift V and just line it up shift V and it's shift V there we gotta turn it off first there we go something like that well, I guess it is a little bit higher all right so now I'm gonna select this face here sure it's the outside face and look at that that's not what I want that's something up there all right one for front view three for right view three for gram and cool all right and then face selection here there we go and then I'm just gonna extrude that in a bit There we go, and I don't want that on the top, so I'm going to delete that face there. I could select that face there. There it X keys, delete faces. And there's still that other face there from the other part of it, so I'm not going to draw the geometry for it. It's going to be a hassle. Alright, <clears throat> I can recreate that face. Shift Z, let's see if I got the overall shape there. All right, cool. Not exactly like it, but close enough. Just reference images. All right, three for right view, and I gotta recreate this this portion here. So I'm gonna delete this face up top. So let me select all of this, bring it down, G Z, and select this face here, delete it. X key, delete faces, and then I'm gonna go over here to edge select and recreate this face here that I just deleted. And actually, what I gotta do is I gotta create a vertex for this part right here. So let me select that there. Vertex, 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 vertex. Subdivine. Vertex select. Click on that vertex. Hold on, shift. Click on that one. M key. Merge at last. There it is. So now I got a vertex there for that whole section. And then the back, I don't gotta worry about it much. I'm just gonna select these here four. And then I can make a face there. And there we go. And cool. So we got that part done. I'll make the other part at the bottom. Shift Z, G Z. And like I mentioned earlier, my picture is distorted, so that's why I'm not being too accurate. I'm just worrying about one side, so I'm kind of just tracing the right side here. Not worrying about that other side. So I can bring in another cube for this part here. I can try shooting it from here. I think it would just be easier to just bring in another cube to make that plate right there. Shift A, mesh cube. Three for right view, S for scale. G, Z, bring it down. Also, you notice here is my image. Doesn't line up with that there. And it looks like I gotta adjust my helmet here too to match that on the image. I don't even notice that too right now. I'll do that on the final touches later. All right, so we're gonna loop cut here and enter. enter. Select that left side, X key the leave vertices, got the mirror modifier here. And let's see, O key on that object, make it thin. No, actually, I can leave it thick, so I'm gonna just tuck it in inside the helmet, anyways. Three for right view, and you can see here, let me check out this geometry. All right, this part seems to arch up. That could be from the bottom of it, I can just pull it up. And I'm gonna have two uh, two faces in here, so I'll add another face right in here. Control R, Enter. There we go. And then Shift Z for solid. And I'm gonna select just these here. G Z, we're going up. I got something in the back there selected which I did not want. So I did pulling up that other part there. Just want this. G Z. There we go. Oh, oh, it's inside the, it's inside the helmet. All right. Shift Z, G Z. How high should this be? That looks good. All right. And then it does seem to uh, stick out from there. These faces here. So I'm gonna select those faces there. Shift Z, and then pull them out a bit. G Y G X. 
There we go. And now I'm going to go back to vertex selection, shift Z, drag select those layers, drag select those, and bring them in place, G, Z. And better safe to be more inside than outside. Drag select those there, G, Z, bring it down. And then later on the final touches, I'll do the the that curve there. Because if I try to that the, the angle, because if I'm doing it right now because of the mirror, that's going to happen. So that's going to be later. All right. Just in the meantime, I can line it up with the mask. Put the helmet there. Shift Z. Cool. All right. So I'm not liking this right here. So it looks like I'm going to add another loop cut in here. And then I'm going to pull that part out. Mm, right there. Cool. Maybe more forward. Around there. And then this part right here, I'll just pull it down. Three. Cheesy. There we go. All right, so now to put these in place. All right, A key to select all. And then let's bring in the picture in the back. All right, Shift Z, see where this should go. G X, uh, not too much of a guide, is it? G Z, all right. And let's just hide those then. Tab key. Click out of there, see how it looks. Cool, cool, cool. And GY, about there. All right, so I got room for that. And then does it hide that right there? I'm trying to hide that little blemish that's there. So I can always pull the whole thing up. There we go. GY, pull it back some more. Then for top view, I'm looking good. Three, and this bottom plate should be very thin. And right now, it's obviously super thick, so I can try rotating them to adjust them as well. GX. All right, so I have key, and I'm just gonna select these two bottom parts. L, L, GX. And then is the buckle, yeah, the buckle is more than that. So it's kind of like, uh, this is the most outward part than this one. And then that was very flat there. It's kind of like a step down a bit there. All right. And then does the buckle seem to come out of that bottom part? Yeah. So the buckle seems to be coming out of this opening. So I have to keep going around there. And there we go. So that's okay. Cause I can see here in uh, some of the images that this kind of flares out a bit. See, it's kind of tilted. You can see it there. So that's what I'm going to do with this one right here. I'm going to tilt it out. There we go. And then I can pull out the bottom part some more. All right. GX. There we go. Got that thin plate right there. And that part's too far in on the back. So then, Shift Z. I can try pulling it out as well. I can rotate this whole thing. Out some more. There we go. There we go. And then this bottom part, I can also try pulling it more outward. All right. GX. And then these, I'll pull out some more. GX. Oh, no, it's hidden back there again. It's not what I wanted. GX. There we go. I might have to join these here. Let's see how it looks over there. Check out the geometry in that picture. Yeah, I'll just join those there. So I'm going to join these two vertices there. I'm not sure which one I selected first or last. Well, it's in there somewhere. Let's see. That one and that one. Then I'll merge them at last. And merge at last. There we go. And that'll look better there. And i got to stick these out some more. G X. There we go. G 
Phoenix. Let me go, Mando, baby. All right. This is the way, huh? All right, looking better, looking better. And I'll be able to hide that blemish. The heck, I thought I'd move that. So let's move it again some more. Side image. Shift Z. Actually, I'll just look at the side image from this one right here. There we go. So the visor goes right over there, and then that part sticks up above it. So this should be a little bit higher. No, looks good. So it's below it. Maybe it should be higher. Oh wait, where's that little slot at? Slot's right there. The slot is right below the that edge, and it is right there. Cool. That's a good placement for it. So we're good there. So now it looks like all I gotta do is just bring this back down again from the bottom. And we're in business, bruh. GZ. There we go. <clears throat> All right. And I want to mirror the one on the other side. Just add another mirror modifier. Mirror, mirror, mirror. There we go. And we're going to mirror. So no clipping for that one. Mirror with the helmet, which is this UV sphere right here. There it is. And cool. It's already mirrored there on the other side. We hide these planes. Tab key, click out of there, and there we go. Looking good, looking good. And color those later. I can always take this one out as well, take it out some more. I'm not sure that tilts out or not, but we can always tilt out this part here, the top part, or just make it stick out some more. That's how profound we want it to look. All right, now I'm going to make the, uh, the crease up top. All right, so we're going to make the crest, the crest, not the crease. So we'll make the uh, the crest here on the Mandalorian helmet. This is a preview here of the final product. I know uh, currently this looks a little rough, but it should be smoother in the next video here in part four. And um, let me show you guys here what it also looks like without uh, all that other stuff there. But there you go. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. If you'd like to support the channel, please subscribe. Please add a comment. Please share. Anything helps. If you're already a subscriber, hit the notification bell so you get up to date when a new video is released. Have an awesome day. Best car. It's very thoughtful.